Welcome to Donor Farm. Something that comes up quite often is people saying, we need to find younger donors to support our organization. We don't think it's really a great idea. And let's talk a little bit about why. Sure, it happened to me just a couple of days ago. I was having dinner with a group of donors in the Southwest. And I was talking to the lady next to me and she was a wonderful lady, completely bought into the organization, major donor, wants to see the organization expand. But she leaned over next to me and she said, everyone in the room is like me. Talking about her age, right? She was talking about her age. And she said, how can we get younger donors to the organization? It's gotta be the most common thing we hear probably. I'll just say it, it doesn't really matter. Do you really care what color hair your donor has, how tall they are? It's an external feature. What really matters is, do they have the resources to give? Can they be a donor to the organization? And I understand she's referring to lifetime giving of a donor, right? Lifetime giving is an appealing concept, but you know, it doesn't especially work that way. It's not like the Ford dealer where he might say, if I can get this young guy to buy his first car for me and give him great customer service through the years and always have him come back and trade in his car and sell him a new Ford every few years, I've got a lifetime customer. Well, maybe it works well in that business. But you know, in giving, people's interests change as the years go by. Think of how many different presentations someone is gonna hear over the next 15 or 20 years from different organizations at church or around town that are compelling, they want to get involved and they didn't know about before and they want to help now. And so people's giving changes with their interests and instead of going after people of a certain age, hoping that they'll continue to give for 20 years, and I hope they will, let's instead go after people who can give, who have the resources to give. Right, and we have on Donor Farm a whole series of videos about different things you can do to attract donors or elevate the giving of current donors types of events, appeal letters, things like that. And so you should watch those. But the main thing is if you have an attractive event, classy, on point, and people want to come to it, it doesn't matter what age they are. Anyone's welcome. Have a classy event for classy people. I love when younger donors come to our event. And we have some great friends who we have good relationships with who are young, family age donors to some of our client organizations. But we don't try and do things just to attract young people. Instead, we want to attract people who are passionate about the organization, who care about the kind of things that we do, have resources to give and are willing to see it move forward and want to be a part of that kind of growth. And that's what we're after when we plan a donor event. So keep coming back to Donor Farm and we'll keep giving you tips and advice about how to nurture relationships and draw in great donors. But ageism is a trap in this industry. Don't focus on the age of people. Instead, focus on their ability to give and their interest in the organization. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm pretty young. Maybe I don't have to give. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. What? Maybe we should uh, invite a bunch of people to my home and we can do a game uh, We have another video about that. <laughs> keep coming back to Donor Farm and we'll keep giving you great tips and ideas about how to build your organization's work by building the donor base and having great funding and nurturing those relationships. Keep coming to Donor Farm. Thank you.